Bonjour mon petit chiffre, Amber here and it is April 30th as I'm filming this late which means I'm here to t talk about my April favorites. It's almost, it's gonna be May and because I didn't post a favorites video, I didn't have a lot of favorites last month, I just figured I'd combine the two months and do a March and April favorites. Oh, I just realized I should make this announcement before I go any further. Um, that these two months, it's like kind of like weird for me because I, I don't know if you know, I'm, I've, I've made one change <laughs> that I've been working on for a very long time or, or trying to get to a point where I can fully commit to it and I'm vegetarian now and I'm like, hey Amber, you don't eat meat, which means you should stop using, also stop using products that test on animals. And that's, it, of course, it's an obvious thing. That's a thing that five-year-old me is like, what are you, why, why are you just coming to that conclusion? We've done so many reports on animal testing and vivisection and all that, and I was like low-key a member of PETA at six, <laughs> even though I still ate chicken nuggets regularly, but I don't know. It, anyway, I can talk about that another time. So I'm currently in the process of transitioning into using solely cruelty-free makeup and beauty and everything products, but I say transitioning because 99% of my drugstore makeup is not cruelty-free, but I'm, I can't just go throw it all out because that's a lot of money that was spent as much as I would want to. I had a meltdown the other day, and I realized that a lot of my favorite beauty products, my favorite mascara, my current, the only foundation I'm using right now are all from these brands. Um, can Benefit like get its life together really quick and go fully cruelty free because I honestly am going to have a really hard time without the Their Real Mascara in my life. So I'm in the transition period. I won't be buying any more products from those companies, but I will be finishing what I already own because my mom would strangle the life out of me if I just threw all of that away. That was a lot. But anyway, moving on. It's taken me so long to get on board this train, but Carmex is the best thing that's ever happened to me. I went through my first tube of Carmex in less than a week. It's just, it's the best lip balm. I've tried a lot of lip balms. I love the Lush lip balm, but this, my lips have never been so smooth in my life because I am an anxious lip picker, but this sorts that out. Basically, the entirety of my skin routine, and they're all from Lush. Lush is beautiful. Lush is heaven. Lush saved my face. As far as cleanser, there's the Herbalism Cleanser, which apparently you can use on your face and body, which looks like this. Oh. And it smells glorious, and it's a slight exfoliator also, it's made with ground almonds and a bunch of other beautiful things <laughs> that kind of balances out your skin, sops up the excess oil while exfoliating like I said. Help has arrived for troubled skin. That is the understatement of the year. And then following that, oh, I also have, this is a sample, I have the full size somewhere. This is Ultra Blend, which is also, it's another cleanser, but this is specifically for the removal of makeup. So my next step, which is this Grease Lightning Tea Tree Cleanser, which is basically a spot treatment, it was suggested to me, which I've been doing, is I just spread a thin layer over my whole face, but I also do do some, like, extra directly on the spots that I have. And the last bit of this routine is the moisturizer, which is Cosmetic Lab. The Cosmetic Lab, which hilariously apparently is targeted towards men on the website. It smells like pudding. Or, you know, it smells like cake batter also. It's so rich, you only need the smallest amount, and apparently works wonders for eliminating post-shave irritation. Good to know. Going into makeup, my first favorite is a mascara. And uh, if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that my favorite, God, this pains me, my favorite drugstore brand is Maybelline. All my favorite mascaras, except for my ultimate favorite mascara, they're all by Maybelline. And this one's no exception. I'm so late, and of all times, to discover a new mascara. It's the Lash Sensational. I'm still gonna tell you about all my, these favorites, not everybody has the same life decisions that I do, so go get you a good mascara if that's what you want to do. If that's what you want to do. Anyway, I've just discovered Lash Sensational, which is ridiculous because everybody talks about it. It's amazing. I'm wearing it today. and I know you can't see through my glasses, but I don't know if you can really see any sort of anything special. The length, the crazy length, and it holds the curl, but it also does the, the shoosh thing. I think that's how you know I really like a product if I don't know how to, how to properly describe it. So I have to find a good cruelty-free 
mascara that I can fall in love with because you know you know your girl's a, a mascara junkie. Becca keeps yelling at me to buy the Too Faced Better Than Sex and I'm like I get it but I'm a make I'm a mascara junkie. I need my options so give me some options people let me leave me comments. Okay what's next? A new product that I'm so happy that I own. I'm in love with it. I'm gonna be using this in absolutely every makeup related video from now here on out. I've already used it in my last makeup related video which you should go watch because I like it. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and this is the Gleam Kit. Let me open this baby up. I am so... Can we talk about this? I don't know if, how well you can see it but that was made with this. So we have our quad. There are four beautiful beautiful highlights. We have hard candy. It's like it has pink but it's like a gold shifty undertone and I, oh, I love this so much. Then Mimosa. I'm wearing a mix of, Mimosa's more, more of a gold deal. I'm wearing a mix of Mimosa and Hard Candy with just a touch of Crushed Pearl, which is the, clearly the, the more one. I went to an appointment and I accidentally used too much of this. I used the water too much, honestly, but I didn't realize how much I picked up on the brush. That was the first time I used this one and I was like, whoa, buddy! It looked like a strobe light on my face. I mean, I loved it. Oh, this is a great thing that's coming to my life. Oh, I'm right along. It's a lip product from another one of my former favorite brands. And this is the Rimmel Lasting Finish A uh, Thousand Kisses Lip Liner. And this is Coffee Bean. And this is just a really pretty chocolate coffee brown. And I have two other... Rimmel lip liners and they're in the standard pencil form and I use them I like them I like the color the pigmentation and the color but I just don't like the the pencil it's kind of like dry but this is not drying at all it goes on so creamy and I don't know it's I'm really into brown lips at the moment I bought this for the 1975 concert in two weeks <sighs> I'm not ready so the next are tools the Real Techniques Sculpting Collector's Edition, Sculpting Set Collector's Edition. I also have the, which I didn't grab, but the um, Complexion Sponge, which I'm in love with. This has saved my contour. Like, honestly, I'm not even joking. I was getting to the point where it was like really patchy and weird and I didn't know what was happening, but I think I'm starting to sort it out. The Fan Brush, which I didn't know I needed in my life until I owned it. Next isn't on my list, but since I just looked at it, I'm gonna mention it. It's the Too Faced Melted Chocolate uh, Metallic Liquid Lipstick and this one is the shade Metallic Chocolate Diamonds. It's not gonna go well with this but I'm just gonna tap a little bit. Oh it tastes like hot chocolate. Oh my lord. Okay. I'm not really into like, shimmery lipstick but this over basically anything especially I think the first time I tried it when I was wearing a brown lip. It just it's just the perfect zhuzh to your lipstick. You can wear it alone, I guess, but I think it just looks really nice over over top of a dark lip. And it smells like chocolate. It tastes like chocolate too. Oh you buy your friend on like I stop. My mouth tastes like hot chocolate and I'm stressed about it. I'm sorry I'm talking really fast and I seem really hyper. I had like a whole a half of a uh, family size bag of M Ms. Even in peanuts, so I'm just kind of like, Ugh. Ugh. Another liquid lipstick. It is um, a NYX liquid suede lipstick, and it's in the shade Stone Fox, which is a pretty blue, gray blue type deal. Um, I bought this because everyone was saying that this was a dupe for the Halsey's MAC lipstick, which it's not. I mean, it is like a grayish blue thing, but her it's it's a lot more blue than Halsey. But I do love this color. I've been wearing this a lot. I think in my last two videos I was wearing it actually. I never thought I'd be able to, to want to, let alone be able to rock a blue lipstick, but so speaking of which, finishing out this liquid lipstick binge, I made my way for the first time ever, my first ever purchase and exploration in Colourpop and I came away with these three. The first one is the brown that I bought for the concert and it is the liquid ultra matte lip and this is in the shade Kapow and it's a rich uh, chocolate brown. I'm not gonna sing again guys. 
and I love it. The only problem I have with this and this this bottle specific this tube specifically is that I don't know if there's something wrong with the stopper but it, it leaks a little bit but I can I can just be really careful with it these are the Ultramax are amazing they dry really quickly my only problem is that they're really really drying it's a really uncomfortable sensation so when I feel it getting too dry I'll just tap on some lip balm some Carmex I'll lay like slather the lip balm on before I apply another layer so that's Kapow. The next um, one is also an Ultra Matte, and this is no, I'm sorry, this is not Kapow. This is Limbo. I lied. This is Limbo by ColourPop. This one is Kapow. This one is a more taupe color. See that? It's more taupe. And the last one is the one I got on my quest for the dupe. It's the shade Petite Four. This is a ultra satin lip. Which is basically, it's a matte lip, but it doesn't dry as hardcore dry as the other ones. This one's a lot closer to Halsey than Stone Fox's. I'll put them side by side for you. This one has a lot more gray in it than blue. Uh, it's not quite a perfect dupe, but it's, it's closer and I like it. So next up is a shirt that I'm wearing. It's this Hogwarts shirt, HP Forever Rio. <laughs> No, it's just something I'm wearing a lot and I enjoy it's comfortable. My avant-garde striped crop top dealy. I'm pointing because I'm inserting a picture and I just, I love it. I love the way it looks. I just, I am really into stripes at the moment, uh, which you'll see in videos in the future. And the second thing are my fake nose rings. I, I like being able to look, to rock a nose ring without having to get my nose pierced. I'm not there yet. I'm not there yet. I can't like wrap my mind around the pain of that so baby steps. Okay so for everything else the first is a food product that guys <laughs> I thought I was gonna have to go overseas but I'm not the only one I thought I was gonna have to go overseas for and they are Tim Tams guys. Target sells Tim Tams. If you don't know what Tim Tams are, they are these Australian chocolate cookies and they are the greatest thing I've ever had. They're not like overly artificially chocolatey like a lot of American cookies and snacks are. They're perfect. Oh, God bless Australia. God bless Target. God bless Tim Tams. I have a few YouTube videos that I have really been into. The first one is I think it's actually called Hamilton in seven minutes and it's this group on YouTube and they did an acapella arrangement mashup medley of Hamilton in seven minutes and no lie it's the greatest thing. I cry every time. It's it's amazing. The arrangement, the vocals, you guys it's I'm gonna leave the link you have to go watch it if you are a fan of Hamilton even if you're not go watch it it's so good I was completely obsessed with uh, Superfruit their cover of Feeling Myself by Nicki Minaj featuring my queen Beyonce I don't know it's just it's just yes it's just yes Mitch is serving me life next isn't a specific video it's just a specific type or genre of video. I've been really into paranormal videos lately. I've been binge watching paranormal videos like people talking about their their like ghost experiences. Not any of the videos where they're actually playing with like Ouija boards or sphere boxes or doing like if the TV could stop doing that or like do like the Bloody Mary challenge or whatever. My friends like to play Ouija and they actually find me because I go hide every time they bring that board I'm like you know I'll pass but thank you. I very much believe in the supernatural and paranormal. I have to because I experience a lot of things that cannot be explained. But I, I'm not really one to go, not really into inviting things into my life. Um, even the things I've encountered, that was not me going like, hey, how about that? Like, in fact, being in this room right now freaks me out. This, this makes me uncomfortable. Anyway, I'm not going into that. Maybe I'll do a story time video. I don't know. I binge watched Loie, Loie Lanes. I watched all of hers. I recently subscribed to her. I love her. I'll put her in here too. I love her. Love her. Who else? I just I'll leave links to some of the the best videos I was watching. <laughs> Next is a music video, guys. <laughs> <sighs> Sigh. 
So, the 1975 thought it would be like a great idea to release the music video for a change of heart and Amber lost her chill. It was lost. It flew out the window. It was gone. A Change of Heart is one of my favorite songs off of the new album, I Like It When You Sleep. Mainly because of all the Robbers references. It's basically a continuation of Robbers, which is my favorite song by the NBC5. It's one of my favorite songs ever in life, period. I'm gonna warn you now because I'm gonna tell you to go watch it, but be warned that Maddie is a clown in the music video. So if you have like a clown mime phobia, don't watch it. But I think that video is incredible. It's, first of all, it's adorable. It's so cute. And it's so beautifully done. It's by the same director that did Robbers, which is my favorite music video ever. Uh, it's art. Like, I say this all the time and it sounds stupid, but the 1975, they are collectively art. Then, these people like to throw in all these like easter eggs and references to the robbers music video there were tears shed i oh god he did the gun thing guys i actually have filmed a reaction i filmed me reacting to the video so i'll leave it that leave that down there you should go watch it if you want to see me scream and be really excessive staying in the vein of robbers actually in 1975 my next favorite YouTube video is a cover of Robbers. Now, I am really, really picky when it comes to covers of the 1975. Yes, I know I've covered two of their songs. And I'm especially picky when it comes to Robbers covers. That's why I haven't covered it yet. Especially acoustic covers. So, I somehow stumbled across a cover of Robbers done by this guy named Tyler Nugent. I keep wanting to call him Tyler Nugget. It's stunning. A lot of times I don't like Robbers covers because I feel like the people don't capture the emotion of the song. They're just singing. It's very like pale in comparison to the song. Not at all the case. Like it's completely the arrangement is different. The it's honestly one of it's <laughs> I was so shocked and impressed and just like I I can't stop watching I think I I, I <sighs> chill Tyler's voice is it's so beautiful please go watch it <laughs> I oh my lord it's magic that's the only it's it's stunning the last YouTube video actually seems so self-centered and like self promo -y, but it's my latest video, my Maddie Healy makeup tutorial, tutorial. and um, not like a self promo -y way, I just genuinely enjoy doing it and I'm actually quite pleased with how it turned out. It's two tutorials in one, it's one for love based on the loving music video and one based on the sound music video so definitely go check it out if you want i wouldn't hate it give it a thumbs up so next are our tv and movie shows T what tv shows and movies Whew, i need to slow down first of which i find is a movie that i finally saw a franchise that i have been invested in basically since before i was born and i love so so much and i was i I really wanted to go see the movie in theaters, but I, things got in the way, so I finally got it, and I'm really stoked about it. It's Star Wars: The Force Awakens. I'm such a huge Star Wars fan. I'm not even trying to be cool and be like, "Oh, I love Star Wars," just because it's back and like it's the thing. I I've loved Star Wars forever. I remember going to. Um, Suncoast video with my mom and making her buy like the VHS of the original ones and they were, that was back when they were because they were so long in like the two two um the double case but I'm obsessed with Star Wars. This movie was incredible oh my god I cried so hard <laughs> and the ending how excuse me JJ Abrams what in what universe was that an acceptable ending I was so stressed out I was screaming in the end I'm glad I didn't go to the theater because I was literally screaming at my TV. Can I be in the next Star Wars movie? Please. My favorite show is That Guys Once Upon a Time came back in March I believe and they are in the underworld 
they are they had to go rescue Hook, which Colin O'Donoghue, guys. <sighs> oh, and Rumpel and Pan are teaming up to I don't know what they're doing to Zelina, but I'm here for it. I am here for Peter Pan. I don't what just happened. The next is a show that I mentioned a bunch of times because it's one of my favorite shows. And I am finally completely caught up on the show. And it's Base Motel season three. Norman is literally gone. He's gone. He's oh man. Freddie Highmore is an I know I say this all the time. He's an incredible actor. And Dylan's like my favorite character on the show. I just ever this show so much. There's so much happening on this show. Like season four, I don't know. I don't know where they're going from here, but like Okay. Oh, fun fact, I went to the eye doctor last week and my eye doctor looked just like Freddie Highmore with the, the smirky side mouth and I was very stressed out about it. The last thing it was in my favorites in November because I went to see the movie and I had a whole big to do about it because another franchise that's consumed my life. Mockingjay Part 2, I don't really need to ramble. You guys know I love The Hunger Games. The Hunger Games are some of my favorite books, some of my favorite movies, Jennifer Lawrence is my favorite actress. So it's very bittersweet the fact that there are no more movies coming out that I'm not going to go see it next this coming November, but it went out right. It closed beautifully. I'm just, it's amazing. I'm such a, I will always be a hardcore Hunger Games fan. In fact, I have drawn out plans for a Hunger Games tattoo. The last three music, last two are albums, and I, I finally actually have a physical copy of both of them. The first of which, again, is I like it when you sleep for you. So beautiful yet so unaware of it. Specifically, actually, since the last time I talked about it, uh, the song Loving Someone. I, the more I listen to it, the more I actually really love it. The lyrically, I think it's the best song on the album. It has a lot of lyrics, but lyrically, I think it's the best song on the album. This album is amazing. And I'm not just saying that because I love the band. And this is the Target Edition, which means it has the Change of Heart demo and How to Draw, which is honestly the most beautiful thing I've ever heard in my life. Like, it's it's beautiful like the fact that you can evoke such emotion with a predominantly instrumental song that's a gift lastly is something like i literally just my mom just surprised me with the physical copy of this and i'm so i'm on cloud nine hamilton <laughs> i'm so in love with this musical like it's getting scary specifically the so songs wait for it which i want to cover i that song is everything and Burn, which I also want to cover, Philippa's voice is beautiful. This this is a masterpiece. If you haven't listened to Hamilton, you are doing an injustice to yourself. It's honestly like, if you're like, oh, I don't like the theater, the theater is for nerds. First of all, that's offensive. <laughs> Second of all, like this is like nothing, like nothing that's been on Broadway ever before. And like, who would think that a musical about a founding father who wasn't even the president could have such an impact like um those are my favorites of march and april if you, i hope you enjoyed that if you did please give it a thumbs up let me know what you loved throughout march and april and never mind i was gonna say i love throughout may but hopefully this would be up too soon for that um if you like me for some reason, feel free to subscribe. All my places are down there, so we can be buds. And I'll see you very soon. Bye.